How's it going guys? Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. In this video, I just want to give you guys a quick demo tour of the Dojo E script, a new script from the creativedojo.net, free under the name your own price platform. So pay whatever you want or enter zero dollars in the price field to get it for free. So what is Dojo Ease? Dojo Ease is a script that really automates the process of changing the speed and influence of keyframes so that you don't have to manually go into the graph editor and change all the graphs for the keyframes. This is a very handy way just to kind of automate the process if you find yourself using the same speed and influence all the time. So for an example here in After Effects, I have a composition full of shapes as well as a lot of keyframed properties. If I just play back this animation, you can see that it's very, very boring, very lacking um, because these are linear keyframes and everything is pretty even and linear. And normally you would stray away from these kind of keyframes because again, these are kind of popping animations and you don't really have that initial pop of motion like you would expect. So it's not very exciting. So normally you would select all the keyframes here and go to animation, keyframe persistent, easy ease. And that would just kind of smooth the ins and outs out a little bit or hit F9. And then you would have to go to the graph editor here and it's just a mess. So we zoom in a little bit. We can try to select these keyframes and kind of just pull them in so we get a nicer ease at the end. And then you would have to select these beginning keyframes here and kind of try to drag them out this way and you kind of mess up a little bit. So as you can see, it's a very tedious process. And if you find yourself using the same speed and influence over and over again, or you're trying to achieve the same motion over and over again, it doesn't make sense to do it this way. So what the Dojo E script does is it allows you to do this automatically. So let me go ahead and just select all these keyframes once again and I will revert them back to linear keyframes. And as you can see, the animation is very, very boring and there's, you know, even speed going on right now. So what we can do is we can go to the Dojo Ease, make sure that all your keyframes are selected that you want to change, and then go ahead and hit apply easing. And now you can see that we get this crazy popping animation. And if you go to the graph editor, you can see that we have these really strong, strong eases. So as you can see, it kind of slowly eases in and then really pops and then kind of dramatically drops and kind of eases out. So this is kind of what the strong ease does. These are essentially presets. So we have a light ease, which is very, very similar to linear keyframes. Let me just go ahead and select all these keyframes once again and hit apply easing. And as you can see, we still kind of get the slow easing going on. Medium ease is essentially between those two. So you kind of get that slope, but not really, not as harsh as the strong ease. It's very, very cool. And then if we go to the strong ease in, we're going to have a strong initial ease in. So it really ramps up and then kind of slowly fades out. Um, so strong ease out, it's the same exact thing, except vice versa. So slowly eases in and then quickly ramps out. And then the linked ease mode essentially means that whatever you input for the speed in and influence in, the values are going to be the same for speed out and influence out. So normally people want to have control over the speed in and influence in, as well as the speed out and influence out of their keyframes here. But in case you kind of just want them to be the same um, and you don't want to you know, type these over and over again, um, just go ahead and select the linked ease mode. And so you just enter it once and it'll apply for the speed out and influence out as well. Now, in case you aren't really familiar with what speed and influence is, um, that's pretty much what you're changing in the graph editor. So for an example, if I go ahead and select a property here, let's just say the size property here. And if you just select the keyframe here and we just click and drag the handles, you can see that the influence right now is changing. So right now the influence is changing and the speed is pretty much constant. And this is what you're changing when you're changing the graph editor. So we can actually change the speed by lifting this thing up a little bit. And as you can see, we're actually changing the speed and influence by manipulating the graph. So if you find yourself using the same values for speed and influence over and over again, just type it in and hit apply easing or use one of the presets right here. So I think for this case, the strong easing is gonna do pretty well. I'm gonna select all these keyframes once again and just hit apply. And if we play this back, you get that initial pop and it kind of just slowly eases out. So this is a pretty, pretty handy script if you want to automate the process of applying easing presets or graph presets and just manually automating the process for many, many keyframes. Very, very easy, very handy. And it gives you a way to manually enter in values instead of double clicking on the graph nodes or keyframes. So it's a pretty handy script. You can get it for free at the creativedojo.net by entering $0 or donate whatever you want. So check it out, creativedojo.net. My name is Vincent Wynn, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.